So in this video we're going to be talking about mutations. A lot of people are interested in this topic and it's the idea that errors in the DNA copy process can lead to changes in the DNA. And this is very important when we talk about evolution because mutations are one of the things which will cause changes in the population and although one single mutation that happens in a single person might not have an effect in the, in the population, if that happens is passed on from generation to generation and it causes an advantage or, or disadvantage to the organism that certainly will cause evolution after natural selection creates that or other processes that force the population to to basically be narrowed into a certain type of mutation and we're talking about that when we do evolution we're also going to talk about this in a little more detail or what causes mutations when we talk about DNA synthesis and replication processes we talk about when of errors in the DNA copy process that leads to the mutations but at this point what I wanted to focus on are the different kinds of mutations or the different things that can happen to DNA to change it to cause problems so let's talk about that and let's see why Spider-Man ended up the way he was, or the X-Men, right? So let's see. So, remember the DNA is made of specific groups of chromosomes, and that these chromosomes have thousands of genes inside of them. And so that means that if you were to change anything about the chromosomes, you might end up changing the structure of the DNA code, as well as the genes in it, and therefore your phenotype. Remember, your phenotype is based on your genotype, so whatever your genes tell you to do, you do, and you create proteins out of that genotype to become who you are. So when you see someone, you see their proteins. If there's a problem with the code that determines those proteins, of course the proteins will be different. And that change is what we call a mutation. Now there's two major kinds of mutations. There are chromosome mutations and there are gene mutations. What you see here is alluding, of course, to chromosomal mutations, and these are errors or changes in the DNA that will change the structure of chromosomes. And you see examples which include deletion, duplication, inversion, translocation, insertion, and another one that's not featured that's called non-disjunction. And now we're going to be talking about each one of these types of mutations. So let's talk about that. So, a deletion occurs when a piece of the chromosome accidentally gets deleted during a process such as transposition of DNA during crossing over, or DNA copy processes, or DNA transfers that occur normally within the activities of the cell. So if by any chance a piece of DNA goes missing, we call that deletion. Now, of course, whatever genes are were in that piece will be missing, and that will definitely cause problems for the organism that suffers them. And many disorders, like the ones we talked about in the previous videos, are caused by events such as these. But remember, these deletions are happening at the chromosomal level, which means thousands of genes could be deleted because of one single chromosome deletion. And since this is changing the chromosome, it could also lead to the evolution of the species because it will change several aspects of the species all at once. So this is important for evolutionary processes. An example of a deletion is called a, a Cri du Chat syndrome. And that basically pretty much occurs in a specific gene that causes... It's called Cri du Chat because the babies with this tend to uh, cry very stringently in the first two years of their life. And even though the sound goes away after a while and other traits emerge, Several problems, including mental retardation and strange facial features, delayed development, and other things like that, will occur because of Cretu Shot. Uh, some kids show aggressiveness, uh, social instability, and other things like that later on in life, although many of them can actually go on to live healthy lives. And this is a deletion event in a specific chromosome that ends up creating this series of problems because several genes end up being deleted, which affects lots and lots of traits. Another example of, of a chromosomal anomaly is a the duplication. And kind of like a deletion, this is a change in the structure of the chromosome at all. All chromosome mutations are, in this specific example, a piece of the chromosome accidentally doubles itself up. And so what you end up with is having twice the amount of genes you had. Now, a lot of things that happen because of duplication is the amplification of a, of a certain genomic sequence. Instead of having one of those genes in the chromosome, now you have two. Now, of course, this is a bad gene, so you're going to double the problems that the person had. But if it's a good gene, you might make the person more adaptable, and because now you have twice as much genes for that particular trait. But remember, Down syndrome happens when you have too much or extra DNA. 
So things like this could affect the ability of the organism to reproduce. And remember, if you try to pair this up and do crossing over with a chromosome that doesn't look like this, in other words, when this pairs up with another chromosome that doesn't have this duplication, it will screw up the entire crossing over process because they're, it's all supposed to be two equal homolog chromosomes exchanging genes. And if one chromosome is duplicated like this, it's going to screw up the way the crossing over takes place. Unless, of course, the duplication happened on both homologs at the same time, and the chances of that happening are very small. So duplication events can definitely cause a lot of disorders and evolution of the species depending on whether or not the evolution, the mutation causes an advantage. And we'll talk about that later. Now another kind is actually called inversion. And this is an interesting one. You have the gene saying from A to B. So let's say the, a gene, the gene goes in order A, B, C. And then the chromosome gets inverted. A piece of it detaches and inverts itself. Again, doing a transposition event, something like crossing over or translocation events that happen in normal selectivities. And we'll talk about that when we do about talk about gen genome fluidity later in the year. But the idea basically is that doing any of these events, such as crossing over, for example, when the, when the genes are switching places, if by any chance a piece of it detaches, crosses over, but crosses over in the opposite orientation, instead of reading a sequence from A, B to C, the genes will be oriented in the wrong direction, and that could cause the chromosome to be read in the wrong direction and cause a completely disarray in whatever the gene was supposed to be. And that's another example of a chromosomal disorder. Another example of a chromosomal disorder is called translocation. Now, translocation is when a piece of a chromosome ends up in another. Now, notice that these are not homologs, so we're not talking about crossing over, which is changing a piece of gene A of, of one chromosome to put them with the gene A of the another chromosome that's basically a homolog of it and has the same genes or with just different alleles of the same gene. This is an example when two chromosomes which are not homologs pair up next to each other and exchange genes accidentally. And then you end up with a, with a chromosome that's not really um, supposed to be there. And in balanced translocation, uh, pieces of one end up in the other. So they just kind of switch pieces. And events like this, of course, will lead to all sorts of problems as well. Another example of translocation is what we call unbalanced translocation. And in, in this example, the chromosomes, normal chromosomes, and the chromosomes of a parent with a balanced translocation meet. And then you get what, something that looks like this. You know, so that means, for example, you're creating the fertilization, basically, is going to select one of these chromosomes, remember, to make a haploid cell. And then you put those together, you meet someone who has a large chromosome versus someone who has a small version of them. And this will be an unbalanced translocation where one chromosome is huge, the other chromosome is small. This is what causes things such as, for example, the fragile X syndrome that we talked earlier when you have a piece of the X chromosome that's missing in one of the people because of a balanced translocation of one of the parents followed by a fertilization event leading to an unbalanced organism that has one larger chromosome than the other even though those are supposed to be homologs of the same size.